In a previous video, we considered a demonstration that was done by my high school physics teacher, Mr. Fred Davidson, or Freddy Physics as he was affectionately known. Mr. Davidson was not only a fan of great demonstrations, such as the blowgun we saw in the last case, but he also had very interesting test questions. Most of his tests always included something about superheroes. So we sit down, we have our calculator and eraser ready to go, we look at the test, and we see that Lois Lane is going to fall from the top of the CN Tower. Because, of course, we're in Canada. So how are we going to solve this problem? We're going to start by breaking down the question. So we see that Superman is 2.5 kilometers away from the CN Tower. This gives us information about his initial position. We also see that the CN Tower is 457 meters tall. This tells us about Lois Lane's initial position. She falls from the top, which tells us that her initial velocity is zero. And of course, she's going to fall under the influence of gravity. We also note that Superman can accelerate to a final velocity instantaneously. And so he's going to fly at a constant speed the entire time. And Lois Lane will be caught one meter above the ground. We're going to look for Superman's speed. And so we have, as we have our CN Tower, Lois Lane's at the top. Superman is standing off. We're going to put him to the left in this case, simply because that's how we've chose to draw the diagram. Lois Lane's going to be 457 meters above the ground, and she's going to be caught one meter above the ground. And Superman has 2.5 kilometers to fly. And so we have is her initial position is 457 meters. Her final position is 1 meter. Her initial velocity is going to be 0 meters per second, and she's going to fall under the influence of gravity, negative 9.81 meters per second squared. This gives us an equation for her position. And what we're going to have is her position is going to be negative 4.91 meters per second squared times time squared plus 457 meters. Superman is going to start 2,500 meters to the left. We don't know his velocity, and we do know his acceleration is going to be zero because all of his acceleration happens instantaneously. So Superman's position is going to be his velocity times time minus 2,500 meters. And so what's going to happen is Lois Lane is going to fall, and Superman is going to fly. And what we hope is that Superman arrives in time to catch Lois Lane one meter above the ground. So we set up our equations to solve for this. We start with Lois Lane. We know the equation that describes her, and we know that she finishes one meter above the ground. So we set up the equation. We can work through this and solve. So we're going to take the... 457 meters to the other side, which means that she falls 456 meters under the influence of gravity. This gives us that t squared is 92.9 seconds. Therefore, we take the square root of both sides, and that gives us a time to fall of 9.6 seconds. So we know that Superman must get to that point in 9.6 seconds. We then take Superman's equation. We know that we want him to finish at zero, which means that we have v0 times 9.6 seconds equals 2,500 meters. We can then solve for v0 of 2,500 meters divided by 9.6 to get 260 meters per second. And so we have Lois Lane is falling, and Superman arrives just in time. The production of these videos has been generously supported by the Nova Scotia Teachers Union through the Program Development Assistance Fund.